What's up, all you beautiful, gorgeous, sexy people out there? Welcome back. I have some more Battlefield Hardline gameplay for you guys. And this time, it's not Heist. It's the other game mode that the beta came with. So if you've played the beta, you know what this is already. It's Blood Money. That's right. Blood Money is the new one of the new game modes they've introduced in Battlefield Hardline. And let me explain to you real quick. Well, actually, first, let's do some housekeeping real quick. There's not going to be any TGIF today. I've been busy. I've been playing demos. I've been doing betas. I've been doing alphas. I've been doing all that stuff. I've been playing Battlefield, and I've been playing, guys, Destiny. I got a hold of the Destiny alpha, and you'll see some gameplay of that coming out pretty soon, actually. Pretty, pretty soon. But let's get into that. Battlefield Hardline. Let's get into Blood Money. So, guys, the basic objective of the game is you run towards this vault. You'll see me try to shoot him. I miss horribly, horribly miss. And you'll see this gun right here. It's a taser, guys. A taser. But the objective of the game is you have this vault in the middle. And you're the cops. You're the po po. You're the police. You're the pigs. And then on the other side, on the other side of the map, you have the criminals, the thugs, the pimps. They're pimp slapping hoes all over the place. But you run towards the center and you try to get the loot. The loot pretty much has 100k in it. You can grab 100k in it at a time. You'll see right here my clansman RJ Loki teaches me something up in here. So huge shout out to him. He spray paints the wall. You can spray paint the wall with your clan symbol and all that stuff. And I'm like, what's going on here? What is this gypsy magic? This dark magic? Some Harry Potter stuff up in here. But when you touch the touchpad on the ps4 you can actually go up to the wall and spray paint it your emblem and all that stuff so that's pretty wicked that's pretty awesome but anyways guys so you go in you get 100k at a time up to like 400 500k somewhere up in there and then you bring it back to your vault right now you see me heading back to my vault and i have 400k on me and i see this dude i see this truck this armored truck and i see this dude so i'm trying to taser him i missed the first time but i come back the second time and you see him on the ground just shaking that is like one of the best things i have ever seen in my life honestly honestly the fact that i can go up and just use some gypsy magic some dark magic some harry potter some lord voldemort stuff and electrocute people just literally made my day so guys you go back to your vault and it's gonna be like five million in order to win the game you gotta get five million dollars in your vault you see right here my team's already at one million and they're at zero because you can go back to the other team's side of the vault the other team's side of the map i mean the other team's vault and you can take their money and bring it back to you and also when someone's carrying money you can kill them and then take their money and bring it back to your vault and still get the points so you see me run around and i taser that dude i sit him down sit down lay on the floor start shaking i finish him off but they finish me off the game this game guys is gonna be pretty slow not really slow but i mean it's not gonna be one of those usual gameplays where i'm fast paced running around i'm just using the taser having fun with stuff like that and i actually learned how to grapple hook how to zip line in this game so they've added some pretty fun stuff they've added some pretty cool features to it that have made it a little bit better at first i thought this game mode was pretty slow not really fast paced not really what i'm accustomed to because in that battlefield feel feeling the the signature thing in battlefield that i like is that chaos the chaos the thing that makes you feel like you're in a battlefield a war zone but here it was a little slow paced in the beginning but this gameplay, the games I've been playing lately, they've been pretty fast, pretty fun to play when you're just running around with tasers. So you see I'm getting shot at. This dude dies. So I come around the corner and I'm trying to heal up. I'm trying to save myself. And I see this dude. He's getting out of our vault. They're all in our vault. My team's around him. I see him in there and I finish him off for my team. And I'm trying to come out and all that stuff and try to drop off the loot, get some points for my team and all that stuff. You can also, one of the great things I learned, one of the small features that make this that makes this game pretty freaking cool is when you're in a cop car, when you're in any vehicle, I don't know if actually any vehicle, but when you're in a cop car, when you're in a squad car, you can push R3 and actually lean out the window to shoot people. How freaking awesome is that? That's some next gen kind of stuff. So I get revived right here. My teammates are hooking me up. One of the features, you might notice my screen's a little bit faded, a little bit darker, and you'll see that dark spot that, that, down below. So that's because guys you can wear a gas mask you can wear a gas mask they'll be throwing tear gas they'll be throwing gas at you they'll be throwing all that stuff so that's why you hook up that gas mask and you can breathe you can breathe through their obnoxious 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 smells they're farting in your face you gotta get out of that stuff you gotta grab that gas mask and put it on strap it in baby strap it in that's what she said i'm just saying you know get that strap on yeah baby yeah. <laughs> Anyways, guys, so you see me here, see me here, come back, and then I get baseball batted. 
That's right, he takes his baseball bat and he chokes me out. What the heck? They've added a baseball bat, a knife, and a police baton in this game as the melee attacks. The baseball bat's fun. I just want to run around and clock people in the head, choke people out, and all that stuff. But you'll see me here. I stick to the taser. The taser is my weapon of choice. From what I heard from RJ Loki, my, my bud hooked me up, told me some stuff about the game. You can taser someone, push square, and then uh, set up a temporary UAV around you. That's pretty wicked, pretty awesome. That's the rumor, so don't don't quote me on that. But that's the rumor, that's what I've heard. And guys, it's just a fun game. Right now, I'm having a lot of fun with it. I'm having a lot of chill moments. A lot of stuff where I'm just like, what the heck just happened? Like, you'll see me go up here. I'm just like, all right, you know what? I'm gonna leave my mark. I'm gonna leave my mark. I'm trying to baseball bat people. I'm trying to have fun. I'm trying to taser people from up, 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 up high. I'm trying to taser people from up high, and I don't see anyone. So you see me, I heard. One of my teammates called him out. There's a dude up top, but I spray paint the little thing first. I spray paint this dude, or I spray paint this, the ladder. I come up here and I see this dude, but my teammates take him out. One of the cool features about this is that you can grapple hook up to anywhere pretty much, and you can zip line down to anywhere. I don't have that hooked up. As I said before, it's on a money system, so when you're in the the enforcer class is now the new support class you can grab that grappling hook you can grab that zip line and i believe the zip lines in some other classes but you can grab that grappling hook and you can go anywhere you can scale up anything as i get lit up that dude just lit me up they peered out of nowhere so you see right here i'm five and three i'm just chilling having a fun game it wasn't really meant to be one of those super intense games. It was just meant to be fun, have fun with the beta, because that's what it's about, exploring new things, exploring what they have. As you can see here, there's the grappling hook and all that stuff. You have to have the money for it. You see it down below. I have $23,182. I'm pimping up in here. I'm going to buy me some prostitutes. I'm going to buy me some puppies. So, guys, this gameplay is almost coming to a close. It's really, really almost coming to a close. You can see here we're at 4.8 million until the game's over so i'm trying to get, you know help my team out get the money get the cash get the dough to win the game this helicopter is just gonna come flying down i'm gonna pull out my taser i see this dude but he gets escapes he gets around the corner i got my taser out he disappeared my team got him and i see this dude get tasered man sit down get frosted lay on the floor you see him i'm gonna taser you again dude that's just too funny that's just too awesome so i'm right here dude but basically, you're about to win the game. What 4.9 million? Five is the closer. Five's the end of it. We win, guys. Stay frosty. Stay tuned for more Battlefield Hardline. I love ya.